Think taxes are not going up if these guys pull off a last minute miracle? Think again. Hi everybody, I'm Dagan McDowell, in for Neil Cavuto, and Fox on top of a clock ticking down. Less than 62 hours until it all goes down, and I'm not talking about that ball in Times Square, or those automatic tax hikes and spending cuts lawmakers are scrambling to avoid. I'm talking about taxes going up no matter what. Taxes in the president's health care law. A new tax on investment income, a tax on medical device makers costing jobs. Those aren't the only ones. That last tax already forcing companies, many companies, to lay off workers. Coming attractions for the new year to Ben Stein, Charles Payne, Todd Schoenberger, and Sarah Flowers. Welcome all, but Charles, to you first. Look out below. Here it comes. Uh, let the floodgates open. Uh, yeah, listen, dang it. Obviously, we know. Well, we actually we don't know, but as to Nancy Pelosi's point, we're going to find out, and I hope we like it. Uh, a lot of taxes associated with uh, Obamacare. Uh, you mentioned the medical device issue. A lot of these companies, by the way, these medical device companies, laying off workers right now. Uh, that it, this impacts, by the way, everyone. Uh, it takes away from research and development, which uh, will take away from life-saving innovation. And it's just, again, just the very tip of the iceberg. Ultimately, there's going to be a whole lot of taxes that, uh, that this opens the gate for, but this is just the beginning. Ben, even if you look at the actions taken by these medical device makers, there is already damage that's been done by these tax increases built into this health care law, has it not? Well, there are damages built into it. On the other hand, there's some good built into it, too. There are people who are very poor who, are not, who would not otherwise be able to get health insurance who will be able to get health insurance. I mean, not very poor, but between Medicaid and, and middle class will be able to get health insurance. So there's some good to it. Overall, obviously, I don't like the bill. I don't think any sensible person could like the Obamacare bill. But tax increases are going to be a fact of life. That's our story. It was tax cuts under Mr. Bush. It's going to be tax increases under Mr. Obama, surplus as far as the eye can see under Mr. Clinton, tax increases as far as the eye can see under Mr. Obama. But when do the spending cuts, Sarah, come? When, never. That very often happens. You have the tax increases that kick in. You see it in this health care law. And then the spending never gets cut. I think we need to look at where this spending goes, and it goes to preventative care, providing preventative care. Already last year, we saw 87 million people who weren't previously able to access preventative care access Prevent that care. That's a net savings for the entirety yes, of the health care system, pandemic. which is passed on to all of us. How does job, but how do job cuts, which we've already seen, these medical device makers, they've sounded the horn about them. How does that help the broad economy, though? You're, what you're seeing is a readjusting of the industry. Most of this tax money comes out of those making 250000 or more, um, a, a, a increase on those individuals. At the same time that we're fighting out here on Capitol Hill about an, a, a decrease on those making 250 or less, so the majority of Americans. When we have this increase on a very small portion, we see that those folks are welcoming this increase. A poll that was released the day before Christmas for, through American Express and Harris and the Harrison Group mm -hmm. saw that 67 percent right. of those making one percent or more wanted to see this increase happen. All right, my, let me move on to Todd because to I can tell you that there are a lot of tax increases just in this health care law. I didn't even mention some of them at the top of the show, Todd, but I'm talking about additional payroll tax for um, people making more than $250,000, right. the investment tax, a cap on flexible spending, you are raising the limit of how much health care expenses that you can write off every year. People don't even know how much this will hurt them and hurt the broad economy. That's right, because they haven't seen it taken out of their paychecks yet. Look, this is what Fox News viewers want to know. What is going to impact them on day one? And you're talking about all this with, with the hospital, with the, with the medical uh, bill that we're talking about. That's good. real money that's going to be taken out of your paycheck. Your net amount is going to be less and it has nothing to do with what's taking place with the fiscal cliff negotiations. It's all a set in law. So we all have to expect to have less money the start of the year. Charles, this raises the yeah. issue. This, I want to go to Charles. This raises the issue of how much can this country and this economy bear? Because as Ben said, tax increases are the, the right. new way of life for us. And you, you see what's going on in Washington to try and avoid these automatic tax increases. But these are tax increases that are built in. And I don't believe that everybody understands what the, the overall impact will be. I don't think everyone understands, and, and Ben is absolutely right with respect to the idea that right now that's the direction we're heading into. No one's talking about spending cuts. No one's talking about uh, 
Uh, how do we, you know, truly bring down the, the $16 trillion deficit instead of just slowing its march towards 20 plus? Uh, there, there's so many other things that, that are ultimately going to be for, up, up for play. Mortgage interest deduction is going to be up for play. Your company, the health care tax, uh, the health care that it provides for you, that will be taxed at some point. At, at the very least, it will be means tested, and some people aren't going to get it. But ultimately, this, is a, this government has a ferocious appetite for spending. And all these cuts that we're talking about, even though they will hurt everyone, they're just a drop in the bucket for where we're going. I, no, I just laughed. I did. I just laughed because Ben. As soon as you said mortgage interest deduction, I was worried he was going to fall out of his chair. <laughs> well, if you chair. got nine houses, it could be a problem. <laughs> Wait a minute. How many did you say? <laughs> Don't you have than, nine houses? <laughs> more. It's more than that. It's more than that. <laughs> Don't admit <laughs> and, that. And the, idea, the idea of clobbering the housing market just when it's starting to get on its knees after being on its back for four years or five years right. is just ridiculous. That's crazy. That's, that's just craziness. All right, we got more on the housing market coming up. I don't, I don't want to stick to that. But my, that because again, we don't want Ben to faint in the middle of the segment. But Sarah, the, this just raises the issue of, and it's something I, I said to Todd. There are so many tax increases built in that people don't know about this coming year, and there are more to come. There is only so much that an economy and that the job creators, and I'm talking about wealthier Americans, can bear. And I do not. Believe believe for a minute that lawmakers fully understand what they have already done and what they will do. Well, I think we need to also look at what we, what is it also in there that affects the average viewer of this show. We're getting rid of annual caps. We're getting rid of lifetime caps on insurance. We're making preventative costs at low cost or free preventative health care. That means for the average viewer out there, you can catch something that could bankrupt you if you get really sick earlier or now it won't bankrupt you because you your insurance won't run out you won't be out of luck if uh, if something really tragic happens in your life those are, are three changes to the law and there are many many more others um, uh, insuring those under 20 uh, under 26 on their parents yeah, we've, we've gone over all that but the issue is paying for all of it the issue oh, is paying for is all of this, it and these... broadly and broadly speaking what will it do to the, the American economy, Todd? Right, well, Dagan, you, you mentioned about how American households, will they be able to actually stomach this? Look, you have right now, Americans were deleveraging since the recession started, but now they're taking on more debt right now. And why is that? Well, you have food costs that are up 6% plus this year. Energy costs, gas prices have been dropping recently, but they were high for most of the year. So you have to go after, you have to take on more debt. And now when you start squeezing that take-home pay, when you have less money that's there to pay the bills, you go into further debt. So the ancillary, there are more negatives than positives right now. I get the preventive care issue, but realistically going forward economically, uh, uh, it's tragic for the country. By, by, by the way, real, real quick, though, I got to be honest with you. There's nothing in Obamacare that addresses preventative care. In fact, in some instances, it might actually get people to go out there and, and be even more reckless, thinking that, hey, uh, health care will provide for it. You know, listen, you see the big groundswell of welfare spending, I mean, food stamp spending, these, a lot of people are taking that food stamp money and they're buying yodels and ring dings and stuff with it. There's absolutely nothing right. that keeps recipients of all of these programs honest and ultimately off the taxpayer dime I, on the medical I, side of the be, issue. That, that's going to be the final word. I, Sarah, we, we've got to wrap this up. But full disclosure, I clearly am very angry about the excise tax on tanning, which was in the health care law. <laughs> <laughs> which kicked in immediately. Again, tax first and then worry about everything else later. Okay. You one percenter. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but it's everybody. It hurt business, by the way, for tanning parlors everywhere. I'm serious. So the